What's up? I'm Captain Spandex, and you know, we're gonna do something a little different today. We're gonna read a little bit Nintendo Power, the very first issue. Um, I read the first couple pages because I was curious, uh, and I was like, you know what? I need to record this because this stuff is great. Uh, I will edit this video a little bit so that we're not, you know, I'll just get the highlights and stuff. Um, so yeah, this is the first issue. It has Super Mario 2 on there, and uh, doo -doo -doo. I did read the first couple pages, and a couple things stuck out to me. So, first of all, look how cool these people are. Come on. Sheesh. I'll never be this cool. Um, has a little welcome thing. Da, 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 da. And Super Mario 2, the uh, the cover page. He's back in action. Look at his weird image. Uh, interesting art style. And uh, what's interesting here is that it says that... Um, it kind of spoils it because it says that it was a dream. Let me zoom in. Like the whole time but when I looked it up in YouTube to remind myself it says and I quote story after awakening Mario went to a cave nearby and to his surprise he saw exactly what he saw in his dream so I don't know I, I thought I didn't think the game said it was a dream but I guess they're spoiling it so that's kind of interesting and also well, that's a great image we have peach uh, uh, look at this. Mario, his ability to jump is average, but he loses it a little bit when he carries an item. It's just kind of weird to hear anybody, especially Nintendo, describing Mario as average, especially his jumping ability, but in the context of the game, it kind of makes sense. I don't know, it's just kind of weird. I like how this says, Mario, Luigi, Princess Toadstool, and the Mushroom Retainer. Never heard Toad described that way, but Mushroom Retainer... Sure. Uh, so yeah, just gives you a little bit of basics. Uh, again, the world of dreams. And look at these things. We got Badoon, Foop, Snap, Zoom, and Bamf. Mario is a badass MRFer, I guess. Kind of interesting is the color palettes here. They keep changing it on, on you. With Mario. Man, it's just, I don't know, it's kind of weird seeing Mario looking like that, but... Hmm. Here's something. Uh, by the way, I turned off the camera. Luigi is looking like he's 50 years old for some reason, and so is Mario, kind of, with crazy eyes. What is up with that? Here's a buff boy Mario. Super swole. You know, then we just got uh, a whole bunch of strategies with uh, with Zelda. Just tons of maps, like really a lot of good stuff. This is this is definitely playing with power right here. I mean, this has been going on for several several pages. Uh, oh, it's a hot dog, soda, bases loaded. Yeah, baseball. This is a good game. Whoa, look at that! Look at that baseball there. You got a blimp. What does that say? Home run, and then the bat signal for some reason? Huh. Okay. Sure, why not? Is that Pete Rose? Wait, that's say, Are you ready, ball fans? Uh, okay, sure. Bases loaded. That's actually a good game. It's just the art's really weird. Like, man. There's something just... Just off and trippy about this art. Man, I don't know. But these are good games. RBI Baseball, Bases Loaded. Oh, by the way, I wanted to mention, we're going to be streaming uh, different issues, too. So, if you want to get more in-depth look, join us on Twitch. We got Counselor's Corner. These are a bunch of different little tips, too. You know, Ghosts and Goblins. Awesome game. How do you beat the Red Devil? Always tough. The Ring King. This game, man. So good. I actually forgot about this game completely. Awesome game, Ring King. It's like a boxing game. Super good. Metroid. A little bit of help there. Uh, Super Mario Brothers. Are there really unlimited one-ups? How do you get the fireworks? Come on, that's rookie. Kid Icarus. This is an awesome game. Underrated Kid Icarus. I wish they would make a proper sequel. Rygard, that was a good game too. Obviously Castlevania, Akuri Warriors, ABBA, yep, that's the classic code. I, I kind of like that game, that did suck. Talking about how to beat Mike Tyson. 
then uh, yeah, you can you can call the hotline. I may have done that a couple times here and there. Redmond, Washington. Then there's Howard and Nestor. Yeah, these are these are the comics in here. Little, little um, comics with uh, Howard Phillips, always with his bow tie. Um, supposed to be like a really nice guy, actually. Like they always portrayed him as a really nice guy. He's kind of sarcastic a little bit, uh, passive aggressive. And we got classes, classified information. Is this just more secrets, basically? Oh, ice hockey! Hell yeah, dude! This is a this is a fun little arcade hockey game. You could pick like your team from like a skinny but quick but weak, medium size, or like big guys who are strong uh, but slow. Heck yeah! Contra. Oh, is it here? There it is. Push up twice. You never hear you never hear the code said like that, right? Usually you hear like up, up, down, down. You never hear up twice. It's just interesting. Uh, Gunsmoke. That was a that was a great game too, man. It was like kind of like a top-down shooter thing. Rad Racer. Yep, that's classic. Uh, it's a commoner. Athena. I don't know if I played that one. Watch out. What is this one? You have a whole new ring, or your title all over again. I don't know if I remember that actually. Arknoid. Ring King again, awesome. Ninja Kid. I think I played that. Uh, let's just see what time it is. Okay. I don't want to make this episode too long. Like I said, we're going to be streaming this. Zan Zanak. It's like Xanax. Don't know that game. Double Dragon. Street Tufts move to attack. Ah, oh, always Street Tufts. Good stuff, good stuff. We're kind of just scrolling through now here. We got Mission. Uh, okay, that's fine. Take the knife. He has, a, he has a knife. Sneak forward, knock him down with your jump kick, and take his knife away. Oh, there's um, a Bobo, right? Is that his name? Is that a Bobo? He looks different. He looks almost like S Sagat from uh, Street Fighter. Are they going to spoil the end where you have to fight your uh, your brother? That was Double Dragon 1, right? Not Double Dragon 2. Wizard needs food. That was a good game. Oh, check out that cover. Yowzas. Hundred rooms to explore. I don't think I ever beat this game. Not sure. What is this? Is this Predator Rambo? Is that Contra? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Basically Predator Rambo. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna edit this a little bit less now because it's a lot of good stuff here. What is this? Oh, Wheel of Fortune. I'm sure I rented this. Jeopardy, you guys, if you watch my videos, we've done some Jeopardy. Super fun. We're going to do more. This is actually my favorite of the 8 bit and 16 bit uh, Jeopardies. Video shorts features every single unreleased video game. Uh, okay. So is this just saying, like, what to look out for? Legendary Wings? I have no idea what that is, but I. Iron Tank, I don't know that. Gunsmoke, heck yeah, dude. That's a good game. I forgot about this game. It's from Capcom? That makes sense. Capcom was legendary back then, and Rambo, that was not exactly legendary. Although I technically never played it. Dragon Power? Huh, okay. Goku? Goku and Nora will be granted. Is this... Related to um, Dragon Ball? I don't really know anything about anime. I know I know who Goku is, kind of. Also, Metal Gear. Fun fact: um, Kojima actually hated this version. He said it didn't live up to his original. What was it? MSX version. Um, and I didn't like this game either. It was interesting. Bionic Commando is awesome, though. They made a reboot on 360. It was actually really good. Uh, City Connection, don't know what that is. 
Victory Road. Don't know. Oh, it's a Cory Warriors too. Okay. Star Force, Freedom Force. Okay, keep your eye on Pack Watch. We'll give you glimpses of the future. Oh, how's news about what's coming next for the NES? I don't really know these games. I played that. I heard that's good. Google 13. Zelda 2. I didn't like Zelda 2. I know. I'm one of those people. Blaster Master. Hell yeah. Lee Trevino's fighting golf. Platoon. I rented that. Hated that. Marble Madness Classic. California game is awesome. I can't remember if the NES version was the one I really liked or not. Uh, ooh. Grand Prize. Ten. Is that games of your choice? Oh, dude, that's awesome. I will not be taking soccer. Also, there's like two copies of soccer right next to each other. Oh, thank you. They're trying to get rid of it. Like, don't you want soccer, kid? Look at this guy. Players pull. Okay, this is this is interesting. I was actually skimming through, and I did see this when I was skimming through. So this is cool. This actually has uh, person's information. I Okay, I double-checked the numbers. So let's look at it. They said, what two games would you most like to see reviewed in the future issue of Nintendo Power? And then you write down the numbers. These were Castlevania and Kid Icarus. Most excited about it. And you can see the numbers here. Uh, then, the question was, I'm just curious because it's just, it's like a snapshot. It's a time capsule for a, a specific individual. Three games are you planning to purchase next? They said Metroid, Zelda 2, uh, and uh, Kid Icarus. Good choices overall. I can't complain about that. And then... Your five favorite games. Now they said Zelda 2, even though they haven't bought it yet. So this is this could be partly what they're excited about, not necessarily what they own. So they said Zelda 2, they said Zelda 1, Kid Icarus again, and then, weirdly, Karnov and Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Which is kind of interesting. Um, especially Karnov. I actually rented that game and I kind of liked it. Uh, but nobody talks about Karnov. So, that's cool. That person was from, uh, where are they from? Yeah. Is that M, is that MN, Minnesota? Oh, well. Cool stuff, man. 13. I didn't even notice that. And this is, um, in 88? Okay. Well, let's see what else we got here, you guys. Here's, a uh, prizes. The, oh, dude, I'm curious, actually. These jerseys, you can't buy them in a store. You know what? I'm going to look that up and see if they're worth anything. I couldn't find anything specifically. I didn't search for too long. I did find Nintendo Power Fest 94 tournament shirts. It says about 33 were made. And they go for like four to 500 plus. So, yeah. I would love one of these. They're so cool. Look at that guy. Come on. Uh, I don't know, that's just interesting. Doo -doo -doo. Winners will be selected. Yeah, you get 50 of them. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, NES Journal. Wire into the NES pipeline on what's happening around the world. World news. Dragon Quest 3. Heck yeah. Also known as Dragon Warrior in America. I love these games. I played 1 through 4, and then I kind of fell off the series, and I love the, uh, the newest one. That was great. Uh, da, 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 da. It is rather odd to find American-born sword and magic games making one great hit after another in the eastern country of Japan. Huh, that's a weird sentence. To see the reaction in the U.S. market once this is converted into an NES game. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, they must have sold pretty well. Obviously, Japan, that series is huge. Vindicators. Smoking up the charts at Hot New Arcade Game. Futuristic Tank. Ba, ba, ba. You got books. I had that one. Events. Konami Awards Top Gun Title. Four finalists launched their Battle for the Coveted. Oh, it's like a contest? I wonder if those are like special carts, you know? I competed in a Star Fox one. Special cart. Uh oh. Pee Wee's um, Big Top Circus? Yeah, just Big Top. That one's okay. Big Adventure was, was awesome. Oh, and you got Kirk Cameron. <laughs> oh, gosh. With the mullet. Wow. Mailbox. Yeah, so nothing great on the letters. Uh, I am curious, though. This is the first issue. How did they get people to write in letters? I guess just 
to Nintendo, not in the magazine maybe? Um, but this person said Metroid has to be one of the greatest games ever made, so they're very smart. And there was another letter about a 55-year-old grandmother who, like, took the grandson's NES to play and got hooked, which is great! Uh, okay, the years of the high score stuff. Uh, I actually had the high score for, uh, Zoop on Super Nintendo. I, I still have the picture of it. Uh, but I don't know if I ever sent it in or not. Take your best shot. There's Howard Phillips. Look at this, 35 millimeter camera turn off. Yeah, it was tricky to get to get the picture right. That was tricky. You might also want to include a picture of yourself. Oh man, I should have done that. Although, I don't think they ever posted pictures of high score people. Maybe they did. Hey, right, what's this? We're gonna tell us about their video prowess. Oh, these people just bragging. Ace Ebb. He writes to Nintendo all the time, telling them his accomplishments on games. His hobbies are playing Nintendo games. He has no pets. Instead, he plays Nintendo all day. <laughs> Is this them? Oh my gosh, look how cool they are. Uh, that's funny. I choose Mike Witch. Oh, these are people like telling, on their, telling how great their friends are. Huh. Interesting. Pro Wrestling, that was an awesome game. Wait, because he played track and field a lot and always pressed the A and B buttons fast enough to beat Puma. Uh, Jed, Jed is a fan of that person. That's for some power player. I think I'm a... Oh, they're bragging on themselves. Alright. Kevin Stevens. He breaks all the records. He solved Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> it's not exactly a puzzle, but okay. He's an official member of the Nintendo Fan Club. Favorite game is a Cory Warriors. Ooh. Ooh. It's very true to him. Now you're playing with power. That's funny. Oh my god, look at that meth addict. Uh, what is this? Is that a... A map that somebody drew? It's hard to see. That almost looks like a map that I would have drawn for, like, wizardry or something. Huh. Uh, da -da -da. Had her NES for almost a year. Okay, anything else interesting here? This person gave the age. <clears throat> Favorite games. Metroid, Kid Icarus, Wizards of Warriors. That was a good game. Trampoline jumping and solving his and his friend's Nintendo games. Everybody says solving instead of like beating or completing. It's kind of interesting. I wonder if I did that. It's got one and a half cats. Half mad. Okay. Uh, to become a dentist and to become a Nintendo game counselor. Wow. To solve every existing Nintendo game, they say. Wow. I don't. That, I, I guess that's possible. Is that that person there? Oops. Okay. Yeah. That's funny. Wait, are these jokes? How do you knock down Mike Tyson even once? No, it's not. Endgame gang. Oh, you're cool. Can I roll with your gang? And what's with all this weird art, too? Uh, how long are we going? This video might be a little long. Where does your favorite game rank? Okay, so here are the polls of uh, people. These are always fascinating to me. So number one is Legend of Zelda at 214 points. Uh, I'm not sure how they grade the points thing, but uh, Punch Out and Metroid. That's that's a hell of a top three right there. I can't I can't argue with that. I think. Uh, okay, Super Mario Brothers, the original. Kid Icarus number five. I'm kind of shocked about that. RC Pro is amazing. Wow, Kid Icarus number five? Top Guns nine? Double dribble, jump, dribble, that's a good game. Pro Wrestling. Best wrestling game ever? Maybe. Uh, Castle, Castlevania Mega Man. Look how low these are. Castlevania Mega Man Contra, Ghosts and Goblins. I, can, I guess I can kind of understand that one. Radius. I'm, I'm actually really shocked. I'm, you know, I'm a defender of Kid Icarus. I think it's actually very underrated. But... Even I don't think I'd put that above Castlevania and 
pro wrestling and stuff but you know part of it too is that it's it's the games that people owned you know or played or rented so they're obviously they can't vote for something they never played or anything so uh what is this combine rankings based on the top 30 from each department uh so how does that differ from each department but these are players picks aren't they combined version of the players maybe it's the combined of all three of these so let's see wow punch house number one kid Icarus is still way up there what are the pros pick a little bit lower and the dealers oh that's a weird one rc pro-am ice hockey oh, those are good games popeye's down there arcoid's down there that's, that's a classic i mean you know Kid Nikki. Okay, eh, interesting. Watch out for fifth ranked Wizards and Warriors, says the pros. Uh, wait. Is it the pros need for variety that ranks not so popular fifth? Well, Top Gun's not very good, so Wizards and Warriors is actually good. New Zelda monopolized most of the polls. Mike Tyson beats Zelda and ranks first. Yeah, that, that's interesting. Uh, where's Metroid, by the way? The the series that Nintendo hates. Eh, it's up there. Okay. Coming up in the September, October issue, Simon's Quest. Oh, is that the cover? Is that the creepy cover that they got complaints about? We're gonna do that on stream. Lulu. You gotta watch out, buddy. Watch out. Okay. You do get a poster as well. What's with the weird like? Uh, dear player, hope you enjoyed. Spent many hours research playing games. <laughs> I even jetted. Who is this? Is this Howard Phillips? Oh, okay. I even jetted to Japan for a week to work with Nintendo Power staff. You try to explain Wheel of Fortune to someone who doesn't speak English. Oh, that's interesting, huh? What? Yeah, uh huh. Okay. Join us in the vast. Don't left behind. Subscribe to the world. <laughs> How much was it? Fifteen dollars? What do you get for the year? Also, I think it's bi-monthly at this point. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I wonder what happens if you call that line now. Alright, I think that's it, everybody. Yes. Uh, oh, wow, check that out. That's cool. <clears throat> Hell yeah. I want like I want a poster of just like that. Just just a bunch of games like that. So cool. Alright. That is that. Thank you guys so much for checking in. And again, join us on Twitch. We're gonna um we're gonna do some of these issues. Uh oh. Hello. See he ruined my camera. Ah, big time. So join us on uh, Twitch, we're gonna do some of it and we can all talk about it and uh we take a slower pace. Thanks, guys. Bye.